Hello artist! Today we are creating a self-portrait inspired by the self-portraits that Frida Kahlo made. So we've been learning some things about Frida Kahlo and her life, but the type of art that she made the most is self-portraits. So that means that she made a lot of art that showed her including this one right here. And in many of our, her self-portraits, she included animals. Like in this painting, we can see that she has a whole bunch of birds sitting on her shoulder and being held in her hands. So for our artwork today, we're going to create our own self-portraits and we're going to include animals in them. So let's start with our white paper and I have a pencil and an eraser. Now I provided a self-portrait drawing guide, which you either got to by scanning the QR code on our slides or it's on our Schoology course. But that self-portrait guide looks like this. So we're gonna follow all of the steps on this guide and we can swipe to the next two slides to see all different examples of different self-portraits. So let's start with that very first step. And remember when we're looking at our slides here, we can zoom in so that it is nice and close, so we can read the instructions and see all of the details. So I'm gonna have this next to me and these are the steps that I'm going to be following throughout this demonstration. So follow along with me. All right, I have my pencil. My paper is tall in front of me, just like how uh, Frida's paintings were. And we're gonna start with a U shape for our face. I try to draw nice and lightly with my pencil. And then once I have everything just the way I want it to be, then we can make it darker with our pencil or with our coloring tools. So in the middle of my paper, let's draw that U shape. Then we're going to add our ears, which is on this side, it's gonna be like a C, so I'm down just a little bit below the top of the U with a skinny letter C, and then it goes backwards on the other side. Then at the bottom, I'm gonna add my necklines. So I'm gonna have two lines, one on each side. and then our line for our shirt. So I'm just gonna make mine a simple curve. If you wanna make it a fancier one, you can, like that. And now for our shoulders. We want to make our shoulders go all the way down to the bottom of the page. So start at the edge of your neck, and we're gonna go out and down until you hit the edge of the page and do the same thing on the other side. From the edge of the neck, go out and down. Now for our hairline. We're going to draw the bottom of our hairline. So the bottom of our hairline is where our hair touches our forehead. So my hairline is right here going across and down. And I have short hair, so my hair might look different than yours. But we can look at our virtual handout here. So we're on this step right here. Step number three, we're drawing the bottom of our hairline. And it says, be sure to start and end at the ears. So if we look, this is the shape of the hair in the example that's a little bit longer. And this is the shape of the hair that's nice and short, like typically a haircut that a boy might have or similar to my haircut. So you can take a look at the different hairstyles to figure out what the bottom of your hairline might be. Um, and there's also the other slides to look at for ideas too. Like if this is the hairstyle that I'm drawing, the bottom of the hairline is just gonna be this straight line going across right on the top of the forehead. So let's go back to that step. And I'm gonna draw the bottom of my hairline starting at my ear. I'm gonna do a nice little kind of a wavy line because my hair is not perfectly straight. And I'm gonna go across and then back down. Then step number four says to draw the top of our hairline. So the shape of our hair. So I'm gonna start up here and my hair kind of uh, spikes up a little bit at the top. So I'm going to draw that. So I'll start up here, 
maybe with some bumpy lines and bring it all the way down to the top of the ear. So make sure that it connects, something like that. It's sort of gonna look like a cartoon version of you. Now, if you notice, I didn't fill in my hair. I didn't draw a bunch of lines coming out. I'm not drawing every individual hair that I have on my head. Okay, next we're gonna draw our eyes. And again, on our handout, there are so many different types of eyes. You could copy some of these from step five, or you can skip ahead and look at the different eyes that are drawn on the different examples. So at this point, you're gonna just mix and match with any kind of face that you wanna make. So I might like the eyes from this self-portrait and the nose from this one and the mouth from this one. It's up to you. You can use features that you see on these slides or you can make up your own. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my eyes, but when you draw your eyes, you have to make sure that they're next to the ears. So right here in the middle of our face, I'm gonna draw my eyes. I'm gonna do those like closed eyes, one on each side, and I'm going to give mine some eyelashes, but that's up to you. Again, you can make your own eyes, and I'll move on to the nose then. So you can pick one out from the page or make up your own. I think I'm going to do a nose that's kind of like the letter L, so I'm going to go from right between the eyes, down and over, and back. And for the mouth, I'm going to make a smile from the page. So I have a curve going to the side, a little curve at the end, and a little line for the chin. And don't forget those eyebrows. I can draw just a couple little lines for my eyebrow hairs, there we go, nice. So go ahead and finish your face of your self-portrait with pencil. The next thing that we're going to do on our self-portrait is we're going to be adding animals to it. So we have some animal slides that we can look at for ideas. So we get to this by scanning the QR code in this, our slideshow in my classroom, or this is linked on Schoology. So when I see this, I can see there's a list of animals down the side and I can click on one to see the steps to create it. So if I wanna make a cat, I can click on the cat one and it opens up steps to create a cat. Or let's see, there's a dog, a cow, a fish, a bear, a bird, a lion. So there's a bunch of choices on here. You can follow the steps on one of these or even more than one of these or you can create your own animals. It's up to you. You can make your animals sitting on your shoulder or maybe they're doing something behind you. That's up to you. But make sure you include at least one animal in your self-portrait. You can include more than one of that animal or all different types of animals. Like maybe I could make a lion and a giraffe and a zebra, or maybe I have three cats sitting on me. That's up to you. So go ahead and draw your animals on your self-portrait. So I drew some fish all around behind me. And I realize that I also don't have anything on my shirt down here. So if you'd like to, you can decorate the clothing that you're wearing. I'm gonna add two little lines to show the separation between my arms and my rest of my body. So you can decorate them with animals or a design. That's totally up to you. I think I'm just gonna leave mine plain and then I will color it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our coloring tools to finish our self-portrait. I am going to outline my self-portrait with uh, black so that it looks sort of like a cartoon. You can do this with a black marker or you can do it with a crayon or you can even uh, use your pencil and just push a little bit harder so that your lines are dark. Once I'm done outlining, then I'm going to color my entire self-portrait. You're gonna use whatever coloring tools that you have available, could be markers, crayons, colored pencils, or even paint if you have some of that. So take your time, make sure that your entire paper is completely colored. 
and here we go. When you're finished outlining, if you see any places that you missed, be sure to erase. So I'm going over my marker lines with my eraser just to get rid of any stray pencil marks. And then I'm going to completely color my entire paper with whatever coloring tools that I have available. Once you're finished coloring, double check that you filled in every spot on your whole paper. So I use a combination of crayons and colored pencils to fill mine in. The only places that are white are the white parts inside of our fish's eyes or if you have the white parts in your eyes showing. I can't wait to see your finished Frida Kahlo inspired self-portrait with whatever animals you chose to include in it. Have fun!